It was almost winter. It was in September, somewhere around the September, October. I'm not sure, but it was almost winter and it was very cold in Moscow. And that was my first time experiencing such cold. I'm like, Ugh. I was wearing two coats. <laughs> I was wearing two coats, it was very cold. But I was really happy because we were a team. We were a team of 10 students from Zimbabwe and each of the students went to a different university, like in Russia, so. I love you, but the love is still in my heart. Not completely, but at least it doesn't matter much. At the university, I chose the specialty of Russian language and literature. After four years, when I finished the университет я решаю вот дальше учить в России, потому что мне очень нравится эта страна и ее культуру. Здесь люди живут не так быстро, вот темп жизни не так быстро. И здесь я заметила, что люди мало, которые носят маски. Um, a lot of people think uh, so that uh, in Russia you will find uh, mafia maybe or something like this. <laughs> uh, like um, the bad situation after the collapse of the uh, Soviet Union before. But uh, after I came to Russian Federation lanes, I found that the situation is very well. There is a lot of secure. Uh, police officers uh, always offer their help uh, for uh, foreign students and the foreign people living in Russian Federation lands. This is the first time in our life having this snow, snow in the hand. Uh, it's so beautiful, it's a different experience. experience like yeah. it so much. When I was in India, my mother told that you are going to Russia. This is the first time I'm going out. I even gone to Chennai, some, somewhere, I'll be at, at my home itself. Now I, I came to Russia, it's so happy that I'm going to study general medicine in Russia. We then had our first semester like in the real university setup like here at Kiofak, and it was really hard. I couldn't understand anything during lectures. And you know, after, after like a day of lectures, right, you would have a huge headache because your brain would be trying to work so hard to understand everything, you know, it's like double work. The first semester was hard, but I, a lot of my lecturers were really helpful and really supportive. Krasny, black, Chorny. green, when you are trying to speak with the Russian language, I think that you feel with um, Actually, I can't describe this feeling, but um, you think that you are speaking like um, a king, maybe, or something like this. <laughs> Especially when you are trying to say the word da. Advogi <laughs> dayeniseya Nesaka sagori da steppi Raseya, mighty Raseya Advogi da yeniseya This funny. Can you, can you make the music louder? Раньше у нас в общежитии, в университете, у нас нет кухни. Все кушают в здоровой. И в общежитии вообще нельзя у нас запрещают готовить его в общежитии. И 
у нас девушки и мальчики живут отдельно. А здесь э, мы вместе жили. А в первое время я чуть не, не так привыкнула, привыкнула, но потом ну, все, все, все хорошо. И э, здесь э, у нас здесь мало видов овощей. И я тоже заметила, что здесь мясо дешевле, чем овощи. А у нас наоборот. Поэтому легко вот получить вес. И до, э, у нас молоко очень дорого, а здесь очень дешевле и очень качественные. У нас в Китае обычно только дети, они пьют молоко, а люди, как моего возраста, вообще не пьют уже. А сейчас здесь я каждый день пью. И мама мне скажет, это помогает еще вот роста повыше. Excuse me. Do you know how can I get to uh, to Kai Maidan? To Kai Maidan? Yes, this way. This way. Uh, this way. Is this place far away? From Not far away. Uh, in Wuhan, uh, especially in Kazan, I found a lot of kind people. For example, um, today morning I was um, I wanted to go some place in Kazan, but actually I don't know the exact address of this place. I met a man walking the street. Uh, um, he was very busy in going to his work. But uh, when I asked him, uh, "Excuse me, sir, I'm um, from another country. I want you. I want you to help me to find this place." He waited for me and uh, gave me the exact address and uh, called the taxi for me and uh, told me that if you want. Uh, Anything, you, just you can tell me. And he gave me his number. Oh, the other thing that surprised me when I was in Moscow, like the buildings, there is a different uh, infrastructure, especially um, the Kremlins. I've, I had never experienced a Kremlin before, so that was a, re a really huge wow for me. And... Um, Yeah, look at Careful World, my university. Their type of uh, architecture is really on point. I had never seen something like that. It's, it's really amazing. What I don't like in Russia is the fact that a lot of people smoke. Uh, we all know that smoking can be hazardous to health, but I found out even from like the university you have a lot of classmates that smoke and they are younger than me. So I think that's the only thing I, I dislike about, about Russia. Я заметила, что люди здесь часто опаствуют. Не только вот эм, студенты, они опаствуют на паре и даже преподаватели тоже опаствуют. У нас, у нас такое эм, явление мало. Если мы договорились о какое-то время, то люди обязательно э, пришли в это время. Everything now is good, but um, of course there is something, maybe, um, maybe this is snow, a lot, uh, snow, um, a lot of snow on everywhere. This is snow hides the beautiful nature of Kazan. And I think I have a lot of things that I like about Russia. We can spend the whole day talking about them. But I'll just list a few that I'll, I can come across. I like the fact that a lot of, uh, in Russia, there is a fr there is freedom of expression. I notice that there are a lot of religions in Russia. I also like the fact that a lot of uh, the people in Russia are really friendly and nice. You can easily make friends in Russia. And they don't look at where you're coming from or where you're going. They're just nice people. And they take you for who you are. Я думаю, что здесь люди добрые. А наша актерша, а, <laughs> она при, привезли, и мы пробовали очень вкусно. Пироги и макароны с мясом и, и, турки, и, и солености. Да, она сама готовила. Uh, people here are, actually are so kind. 
and um, always wanted to help uh, foreign citizens. Although um, some of these people can't speak English language very well, but um, you know, always they are trying to help us using Google Translate, Yandex Translate. <laughs> uh, they always trying to help us.